I don't know, I haven't seen anything in this river. When you get to a new place, you don't even need to catch anything because you, you, you have no expectations. Perhaps I'm gonna make a cast here. I, I know there are grayling here and the grayling, they don't disappear and go and spawn in the autumn. They spawn in the spring. Yesterday I sort of slipped into an old version of myself. When I was 15 or something, my biggest goal in life was to catch a 10 kilo pike. For a fisherman in Sweden, it's like, when you have caught a 10 kilo pike, then you are, like, that's proof of mandom or something. Same as with like, shooting a moose, I guess. I win. Jag ska se vem min favorit är. Louis Lopez. Nej. Louis Lopez är rätt svar. Nej. Varför inte? Det är samma. Det är samma vattennivå. Det kan inte hända så mycket. Nej. Den står, den, den står där borta 12 kg. Det står det. Ja. Ja då. Oh, mama. Oj. Han kanske står där. Har du tänkt hantera den på stenen och allting? Jag kommer göra jaggruppen som ett proffs. Okej. Okay. Ja, det där är PB. För den är större. Alltså. Ja, okej, okay, men oh, den, den här är, är så stor. Den här är, den här är betydligt större. Det är det. Det här är något slags person. Nu leder du. Oh. Okej. Okay. I didn't really care about the first fish that I caught because it wasn't 10 kilo, even though it was my personal best. I came for one single fish and that was big, big pike that I, that I lost the other, other day. Okay, the house stood. Then, then that is stood. The house stood. Then that, then that going to flit up. Oh, yeah, blood. Cortest to fish up for fish up. The cortest to fish up. Ah, okay. I thought you were here. Det är jag som vinner. Får se. Ja, din är, din är kortare. Jag har den stod, den stod betydligt närmare än vad jag trodde. Det är här den står. Nu står jag och tittar på den nu. <laughs> ja, kanske inte, kanske inte nu. Står <laughs> I have never shot a moose and I've never caught a 10 kilo pike but times are changing and uh, I am I I am a grown man anyway I don't need to kill kill a moose or catch catch a pike and most people haven't caught a 10 kilo pike that's probably why the macho culture is dying in Sweden it's perhaps not dying I don't know de som är riktigt match och så här, de, de skiter väl i om det går dåligt för matchkulturen eller inte. Vad gör du nu då? Eh, vänta på att mötet ska börja. Mm, men du sitter ute i skogen. Så so you get hung up on one certain goal and then you sort of stop taking in the environment around you and you don't see the beauty and everything because you just have your eyes on, on, on the go. I, I sort of destroyed the fishing trip both for myself and for Viberg. It's like if there's something I think about, it's like if I stand on the edge of the edge. This edge of the edge. When it comes down to that side. And then it takes it in the middle of the edge, and then I don't understand anything. There, for example. Did you see that? I don't get very inspired to do to make a film because it's the same fishing as last time. Det är också lite härligt med solljus. Det ser härligt ut. Skönt bedrag. Jag tycker vill jag ska vara liksom. Ja, jag tycker också. Det ska vara. Det ska se mörkt och dystert ut. Ja, höstigt och dystert. Nu är det nästan som sommaren kom tillbaka. Mm. Det är 
helt, det är en helt annan stämning idag. Har du tänkt på det? Ja, men jag, jag, nu får jag, jag sådär jädda och vi, du, du är inte glad, jag är inte glad. <laughs> Nej. <laughs> Nej. Förväntningar är besvikelsens moder. Har Adam Hellberg sagt det? Ja. Är han en, är han en vis man? Ja, det är han en vis man. If one person is like get hang up on catching a big fish or something, sort of destroys the vibe for the whole fishing trip. And like this summer, I think I was that person. I lost a really big trout and then I sort of couldn't really get happy for anything, anything less than what I've just lost. Kind of exactly the same with this pike. That's why I should just stand behind the camera. I shouldn't I shouldn't get close to, to real fish. I I really like this nature romantic sneaking around and enjoying nature thing. But I very much have that old uh, hunter gene inside of me that just want to catch the monster. I think I had a plan to merge these thoughts into some kind of conclusion and, I, and sort of get to the point where I have no expectations. But it's also, I don't know, it's also really good if, like, if you really want to catch a big fish. You should make some research and go to the place where you think it is. I just don't know. I don't know much about life. I'm just trying to... I'm not presenting any truths to you. It's just my thoughts about something. And what do you think about uh, autumn? Uh, yeah, it's beautiful, but I hate it. it. It's it's like a breakup. I don't hate it. I love it. And hate it. Towards the end of November, if that works. End of November, yes. Because the rivers will be in the, probably the best condition at that time. Because, put it this way, yeah. Hopefully I'm gonna go to South Africa this winter. <laughs>